What are the item types in Pyro? Item types in Pyro basically represent your products, components, materials, and any billable items that can be added to price quotes, job orders, and invoices. It is important to emphasize that item types in Pyro shouldn't necessarily represent physical inputs or outputs, but they can also be a representation of services or any other non-physical items you want to track during the production and sales process. For instance, certain labor fees that you want to bill to the customers. The item group management organizes item types with similar properties into groups. For example, the jewelry group will contain rings, bracelets, pendants, etc. Item groups should not be confused with item types, as they are used for different purposes in Pyro. The main functionality of item groups is that it allows the user to commonly manage some of their settings through the item groups profile. These settings have to be defined only once on the item groups profile, and all the item types included in the item group will inherit these. Let's see an example of how our item groups help our item types management. For example, for a ring, we need to define the ring size. Under Custom Attributes Management, we can create the ring size attribute that will be attached to the ring group under the Item Group Management. This feature gives Pyro a unique flexibility when compared with other jewelry inventory platforms because it can dynamically define the inventory item's structure and attributes, so it fits any specific needs of the Pyro user. Now we can see that all rings have the ring size attribute attached. By clicking on the Show Group on Separate Tab Inventory, the item group will be listed in a separate tab in the inventory. By segmenting the item types into groups created according to a logical structure, they become simpler to overview and easily searchable.